I'm Ryan Suckup, Mr. Irrelevant from the 2009 NFL Draft, and this is my draft story. You know, it was a little bit of a roller coaster day and really time period leading up to the draft. You know, my senior year really didn't go the way that I wanted it to. It was 2008 at South Carolina. About midway through the year, started dealing with a pretty tough abdominal injury. And so for me, I remember thinking, man, like, why is this happening now? You know, I started thinking, man, I'm not, I'm not performing well. What does this mean? Will I get a chance to play at the next level? As things would go, I was able to finish the year. At the end of the season, was able to have surgery. Was able to get healthy, have a really good pro day. And uh, from there is when I started really feeling some calls and getting a lot of interest from NFL teams. Draft day was obviously really exciting. You know, I knew that I had a chance to get drafted. I didn't know if I would or not. Uh, as the draft got later and later, we got into the fifth, the sixth, the seventh round. Uh, I started fielding some calls from some teams. And, you know, I remember thinking, man, is a team going to draft me? Do they want to sign me as a free agent? I wasn't really sure. And we were actually at, at my girlfriend's apartment, who's my wife now. You know, I think she could tell I was getting a little nervous. And she goes, you know what, you need, to, you need to step away. Why don't you just go away, take a few minutes? Why don't you just kind of just go pray about it for a little bit? So I kind of went upstairs, got away from everybody. And uh, about five minutes later, um, I got a call from the Chiefs, basically saying, hey, we want to take you with the last pick. We're on the clock here in a couple minutes. And uh, how would you like to be a Kansas City Chief? With the 256th pick of the 2009 NFL Draft and final pick, the Kansas City Chiefs select Ryan Suckup. After I get drafted, then I start hearing about all this thing called Mr. Irrelevant. It's the name that they give for the last pick of the draft. And I'm thinking, well, that's not the nicest name in the world to call somebody. But I remember thinking, I don't care. Hey, I'm getting an opportunity to play football. This is an opportunity. Like, this is amazing. I get off the phone with, with the coach of the Chiefs and the general manager, and um, I start getting these a call or several calls from Irrelevant Week. And essentially, they have a week-long celebration for you out in Newport Beach, California. You know, it's a big deal. And I remember thinking, hey, this is awesome. Like, I get a whole week to go out to California, celebrate. And uh, little did I know that when I get out there, they're really going to roast you pretty good that that whole week it's they do celebrate you but they're also gonna make fun of you a little bit when you're already a place kicker and your last name suck up they have a lot of ammunition to to get you pretty good fortunately I've always had thick skin and I needed it that week for sure because uh, they definitely embarrassed me pretty good one of the first nights they said hey we're having a parade for you it's gonna be at the Balboa Yacht Club and all the town gets behind it thinking hey this is awesome they give you all kind of gifts like all right and they take me around to the back and they said, hey, everybody's waiting on the beach for you. We're going to ride you in on one of these boats and that's going to be your grand entrance. We kind of walk past each boat and I'm, I'm wondering which one it's going to be. There's all these million dollar boats. And a couple minutes later, a, uh, there's a little guy comes around in a little canoe, essentially, with like a five horsepower little handheld motor on the back. And I see him kind of coming around the, around the yacht club and I remember thinking, this is the boat that I'm getting in. That was how I made my grand entrance, and uh, I was pretty embarrassed pulling into that beach at that beautiful yacht club on a little canoe, but uh, I was the very last guy picked in the NFL draft, so uh, you get the beautiful name Mr. Irrelevant, and it's definitely something that is a pretty special club. It's a cool little fraternity to be a part of, and um, it is kind of funny when you look back and, and go, man, I was, I was the very last dude. That was me.